Welcome to another Liberty Moments. I'm Greg Brandon. This past week, two constitutional issues have not even been discussed in a constitutional way by most in D.C. First, the First Amendment. Senator Cruz was articulate in defending how we would never want to have that thing amended by today's D.C. people. I understand the 49 that voted for it. Mainly, mainly progressives. But what frustrates me is the 20, the 20 Republicans, so-called conservatives, Senator Burr being one in my state, that voted for cloture on this. His job is to defend the Constitution. The First Amendment cannot be amended to at all. Period. Without that, they all fall. The Bill of Rights are not a list of rights granted to us by the nice, kind federal government. It's a list of rights in which the federal government can never infringe upon. Period. And the second is ISIS. Our country debated clearly at our founding a generation that fought for independence, a generation in that room with generals and colonels that fought and understood what independence was about. Those men wrote down the idea that America would never be looking for monsters to destroy. They would never actually make war. They would declare war in an Augustine defensive fashion. Senator Paul stood up with that, saying that Congress must debate this. Then if Congress declares war, then the president becomes commander-in-chief, lead admiral, lead general, as Hamilton talked about. That's constitutional republic. That's what we must not just strive for, we must demand individual liberty is only, only going to be there if we demand our inalienable rights. These issues are too important for one man to decide or a small group of men or women to decide. That is not what our American public's about. The American exceptionalism is the idea that Adams talked about, that we are a law, we are a nation of laws, not a nation of men. Please, let's not waver. Let's go to our representatives and demand them to honor their oath in Article 6. This has been the Liberty Moments of Greg Brannon. Thank you very much for this time.